How frustrating is it for the first few times you send your covers through to KDP and they get rejected? So in this video, I'm going to show you a great way to be able to make sure that when you do send your covers through to KDP, that they're getting approved first time every time. And with this hack, you'll save so much time, energy and money. Romney and I'm the founder of the Life Graduate Publishing Group. Thanks very much for uh, watching uh, this episode and today what it's all about is trying to save you so much time and effort and making sure your book covers are approved first time every time when you send them through for approval because there's nothing more frustrating than spending all that time creating your covers and then for them only to be rejected because they don't fit the right parameters or your writing might be outside the lines and they're asking for an additional uh, 0.125 uh, millimetres here or it might be 0.25 millimetres here for extra bleed. Those sort of things can be frustrating, particularly if you're not sure how to design or how to do those covers. So in today's episode, we're going to be using a program called BookBolt. Now, BookBolt is a program I've been using for maybe eight or nine months now. And it has been so good to ensure that I'm able to send through my covers and get them approved by KDP. And the reason it's good is because you put in the parameters or the size of your book, and um, whether it's paperback, uh, the um, whether it's um, you know, white paper or cream paper, and the dimensions, and BookBob will automatically calculate the size, plus give you the template for you to drop your image onto BookBolt and be able to stretch it and put it to size and save it to PDF and it will be perfect for submission. So in a moment, we're gonna jump onto the dashboard and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. So I've just landed on the dashboard of BookBolt and BookBolt is the software that, um, that I'll be using today to show you how to do your covers for KDP. And as I mentioned, it's been such an important software rejection emails from KDP because I haven't been able to meet their um, specific specifics or specifications in regards to the size of the templates that uh, or the book covers that we need to submit through to make sure they're approved. So BookBolt, you can have a choice of either doing, um, there are some free items you can use on it, but there is the subscription model which you have it's about a hundred US dollars per year, but is absolutely well worth the spend because the time it saves using it now for about eight or nine months and across 250 books or maybe more, I've used BookBolt and I've had no issues at all from KDP. And so it's been such a lifesaver for me because the first four to five books that I had were uh, rejected because I wasn't able to meet the specifications and there was writing outside the parameters and I just couldn't get it right. Better do. So I would normally just go and log on here. I've already logged on and it will take you to this page here. Then you just click up here and you would go down to Book Bolt Designer, which would then take you to another sort of login page and therefore you would come to this page. And this is where we now need to start. Now, I'm also assuming that you've already pre-completed your cover. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do. I use Canva for my cover creations. You might choose something else, but for simplicity, I'll show you what I do. So therefore, if you do use Canva, you can transfer it across. Otherwise, it may be something you'd like to do, but you don't have to use Canva. It's just the image that we're really needing. But if I was using Canva, then what I'd do, I've just done a, a mock cover, uh, just for example purposes. So what we're looking for are two things from our cover immediately. We want to make sure, and I use Canva Pro by the way, but you can use Canva for free. Um, what I'm looking for is to make sure the cover that I've already got is the right size and dimension. So I'm looking for an 8.5 by 11 inch. So the custom size so far is 8.5, which is perfect. The other thing we need to do 
is to hover over the book and make sure we get the right background color. And I'll show you why in a moment. So when we go to Book Bolt Designer, we need to insert, so it's already going to be cover, they give you two choices. We're doing the cover. The trim size is 8.5 by 11. Uh, we've got white, so you can choose color if you wanted to, or cream. The reason they give you a choice is because color, the sometimes the paper thickness is a little bit greater. So therefore, the um, template might need to adjust to that. And the page count we're going to do today is 100 pages. So we would submit this and then the template is now being generated to fit those exact exact specifications which we need, which is the time saver. Because if you're trying to do that um, through your own calculations or even sometimes using other websites, you've then got to try and bring that information across and develop your own template, whereas this does it all for you. Uh, so what we're going to, while this is waiting, what we will also do, we'll go across to back to our cover and I was talking about the color background. Now we need what the color information is here for Book Bolt. So we hover over it or click on it. It will come up here. We click on that and we find out what that color is from the background color, which is right. We'll go to the game. Right here. So we copy that. Then we go across to our book bulk designer and I'd already been playing around with this, but what we do is we need to make sure with the color right here that we have the right color. So let's just get rid of this cover here and we'll get rid of this color just here. So if just say it was this color, this color here, it would make the whole thing yellow. We would get the color from Canva just there and we would drop it into this box right here and paste it. Therefore, the whole document is going to be the same um, color. So if we should we miss any little bits when we're dragging our cover, then it's all set to go. So then what we need to do, we would have grabbed our images. So you just simply uh, drag or drop um, into this bit here or uh, you can just download them. We would then click on our cover and we don't move it from here apart from dragging it. We drag it so we've got grey dots all the way around just to here. We do the same for the back cover. So we wait for that to load. Again, don't move it. Just click and drag into so those grey dots are on the line. Now you can see a brown, sort of dark, sort of brownish light brown border that runs around the side. This is where we need to don't have any writing in this area. Images are okay, but writing you must keep in the area. And we can see the G here is fairly close, but it's not in that darker brown area, so that's okay. So once we've done that, we've got our covers in place. This is the spine, so it's too narrow to put any writing or anything in there. But if you wanted to, you could. But again, that becomes a bit more technical. But we've got our cover, so the grey dots, we're in this one here, the grey dot is a little bit out. So we want to bring that in a little bit and we want to even it up. So probably a little bit wider. Just about there is about right. And there we go. So that's our cover. Now what we need to do is download it. And this will now provide the PDF document that we will update or sorry, upload to KDP. And this is where the, the magic happens because it'll prepare it perfectly for us. And we want to make sure that we're getting that cover right in that PDF format to submit through to uh, KDP as part of our uh, submission. So it prepares, takes a little bit of time to, to prepare, but when it does, it'll come up with saying download. We download it, it gives us a, a view of what the document looks like. And then from there, we can save it to the file that we want. So here we are. So we simply click download. And it'll come up in a moment. The timing happens because 
this has only literally taken three or four minutes for us to get this cover right if my internet speed was working properly today but this will bring it up for us in the right format and in the 8.5 by 11 there we are perfect so that gives us exactly what we need uh, be perfect for what we want so we then download it and we save it to the file just by using need to go to so that's what is involved with bookbolt and it is very very simple and it's a great way to be able to save the time to be able to get your your covers designed or um, and and formatted correctly for KDP and this software will bring it all together for you so as I mentioned there is a subscription model I have provided uh, a link down below in the description about Bookbolt and there is a link there where you do get a discount I believe it's a 20% discount on the subscription and that's available it may not be suitable for you however I'm only giving you from my personal experience how effective and how time sorry time consuming it. it could be if you don't have it um, it's been amazing for me and it will save you hours and and um, it'll save you probably 10, 10 years off your life as well in regards to frustration of getting those knockbacks from KDP too. So hopefully this has been a great video for you in regards to the formatting of your covers. Remember the key things. If you're using Canva, make sure the size of the cover is the size. For example, ours was 8.5 by 11. Make sure that size of your cover is suited to that because then you can drop it straight onto Bookbolt and drag it to the right size. Then you need to get the color um, code to be able to put it onto Bookbolt. And then you, once you um, drag your pictures onto the screen, then leave them where they are, drag them so those little gray dots go onto the site into the areas and make sure that you don't have any written words that drift into that brown um, box area there because that's where you'll get that knock back even if you use this software KDP still doesn't like any words going into that area because it can be cut off during printing and it would form a bad customer experience uh, so there you have it that's the book bolt uh, designer uh, software that I use so uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe if you like this uh, video and this lesson I've got plenty more others that I'll be helping out um, first-time authors or established authors to become more efficient scale their business and sell more books so thank you and uh, I'll see you next time